Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, MG Nas, and I'm back here again with another video. And today, we got some Sixers talk. So before we get into this, make sure you hit the like button. If you enjoy this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And hit the post notification bell so that way you don't miss any content that drops on the channel. And um, if you're watching this video and you have an opinion, comment down below. Now we got some Sixers talk today. Um, uh, last night, the Sixers defeated the Miami Heat. But um, we got to talk about more than that. We're going to talk about what's up with Ben Simmons. Is Joel Embiid a true MVP candidate? So let's start off with Joel Embiid. Um, Joel Embiid, um, coming into this season, you know, the whole Embiid versus Jokic debate. And I'm not going to sit here and just rave for y'all for 10 minutes about who's a better center. But Joel Embiid is just, he's more than just in the who's the best center conversation. I believe he's in the MVP conversation. Um, I believe he's averaging around 25 points a game and around like 12 or 13 rebounds. I mean, that's just MVP type numbers. The Sixers are eight and four, the second team in the Eastern Conference. Um, and he's carrying um, his record this year, I believe, when we, when Embiid is on this team, believe this team is eight and one without him on the team. I believe the team doesn't have a win when he's not, um, when he's not playing. I believe they're only two when Embiid isn't playing. So that just goes to show you um, his impact on the 76ers and um, how valuable he is to our team this season. Obviously, you got guys like Seth Curry and Tobias Harris and Shake Milton and Tyrese Maxey playing well this year. But when it all boils down to it, Joel Embiid should be one of the best, one of the top MVP candidates so far. Obviously, we have so much season to play. This could be completely wrong by next week. But I'm just saying right now, Joel Embiid is playing at an MVP level, and um, he is an MVP candidate so far. And um, shout out to Joel Embiid. Um, the, listen, I ain't going to sit up here and argue about if he's the best center for Simmer Jokic, but I definitely think he deserves a lot of respect. And... Um, for what he done, what from what he has done this season. So shout out to Joel Embiid and um, yeah, man. Hopefully he can keep up this um, play. Last night he had a forty six point bomb with 15, 16 rebounds, five steals. I mean the guy was all over the place, man. He was sixty nine percent field goal percentage, thirteen for thirteen from the free throw line. I mean Embiid, he, he just. He did his thing last night, and um, if we can get more of that, or games like the Wizards when he had 38 points, um, I mean, Joel Embiid, the sky's the limit for him if he can keep playing at a consistent level, and if he can stay in shape. That's the, always the biggest question. But now I want to move to some Ben Simmons talk, because Ben Simmons, man, I, I'm sorry, but Ben Simmons has not been playing well. He, he, just, he just hasn't, um, and, and it sucks to see, man. Ben Simmons, man, one a, a big part of his game is really being aggressive, and he has not been aggressive this year. Um, he's still getting the assists that um, I expect him to get. He's still getting about. He's still having games where he has eight, nine, even ten assists. Um, he, he's oh, he's playing decent on the defensive side, but offensively, Ben Simmons is just not playing well. He's not being aggressive. He's not getting to the basket. He's not getting to the free throw line. He did take one jump shot against Orlando this year. Woohoo. I but like other than that, man, Ben Simmons has not been playing well this year. Um I I mean I can name three or four players that's having a better season than him on this team. You have Joel B who's having a better season, Seth Curry who's having a better season, Tobias Harris is having a better season. You can say Shake Milton is having a better season than Ben Simmons. Um and and it, it sucks cuz like Ben Simmons is supposed to be the second guy, best guy on the team, but the the more Ben Simmons continues to not play well, the more I'm just like, I'm I don't want to trade him, but it just I keep asking that question: Should we trade him? So Ben Simmons, he has to pick up his game, man. He has to pick up his game. And another person I want to talk about, and I think this is the steal of the draft, is Mr. Tyrese Maxey from Duke. He came in, he dropped 40 
when the Sixers only had seven players against the Nuggets. Seven players. Tyrese Maxey said, give me the ball and move out the way and let me get buckets. And I won't be surprised if we find a way, if Doc Rivers finds a way to get Tyrese Maxey inserted into the starting lineup. If it's not for, I, I obviously for the playoffs, I wouldn't want him in a starting lineup. And I do kind of like him and Shake Milley coming off the bench with each other. But at the end of the day, Tyrese Maxey is having such a good season off the bench, man. And if he can keep this productivity up, man, the sky is the limit for this team, man. And this is what we needed. This is exactly what we wanted when we drafted Markel Fultz. We wanted a great guard who can ball, handle the ball, and shoot. This is what exactly we wanted out of Markel Fultz. And now we're getting that from Tyrese Maxey, man. So, man, I, I'm just excited. Other than Ben Simmons, I'm excited for MB. Tyrese Maxey's playing well. But Ben Simmons, man, come on, bro. I know you can play better, Ben. And um, as far as Joel Embiid and Tyrese Maxey go, I just need them to keep this up, man. And if they can keep it up, the sky is the limit for the 76ers. So y'all let me know y'all opinions down in the comment section. Um, what do y'all think? Do y'all think Ben Simmons is a... Do you think that he's just having a couple of off games, he'll pick it up? Um, or drop your opinion on Joel Embiid or Tyrese Maxey. It doesn't matter. Just leave a comment down below. Make sure y'all all hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new, hit the post notification bell so you don't miss any videos or live streams that happen on this channel. Click the link down below to subscribe to my podcast YouTube channel with my two friends. We all run a podcast together. Make sure you click the link down below. The Underrated Tour continues. It's your boy, MG Nas, and I'm out. Peace.